Every morning when the sun rises, it's good to remind yourself, here you have another day. You may not have a whole day, but you've got some part of the day. What good things can you do with it? You look at your mind. If you had to go today, what qualities in the mind or what attitudes in the mind would get in the way? And if you see anything that would get in the way, do your best to get rid of it. Don't say, well, I can wait some other time, because other times turn into other times and other times. And the real work that needs to be done, i.e. the work inside the mind, gets put off because we have other things that are more pressing from outside. But just because something is pressing doesn't mean that it's important. The really important work is making sure that your mind is in good shape. Then s spread thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill to all beings, goodwill to yourself, because you're one of all the beings out there in the world. Goodwill means you wish for happiness for all beings. And the true happiness that you're wishing for is something that has to come from within, which is why the happiness of all beings is not a contradiction in terms. Because if each person were to develop his or her resources inside, the world would be a much better place. The resources are mindfulness, alertness, ardency, and goodwill. When we wish goodwill, we wish that other beings would also have goodwill. And then we try to act on that goodwill. There are four things that get in the way. There are four types of bias that get in the way of our dealings with other people. This is especially true if you're in a position of responsibility. You have to be very careful that you don't do things simply because you would like somebody, give them special treatment or deny fair treatment to someone because you don't like them, or because you're deluded, or because you're afraid. You know, sometimes you're afraid of some people's power, and so you give in to them. And that way you're not really showing goodwill for yourself, you're not showing goodwill for others. You want to be fair all around. So this requires that we dig a little bit deeper than just having thoughts of goodwill. You have to think about what could make me do things out of bias, out of prejudice because I'd like somebody, especially because I don't like them or because I'm afraid of them. What can I do to make sure that those mind states don't overcome the mind? So my goodwill really will spread, spread itself all around, extend itself all around. And I can learn how to trust myself. Because after all, if you have ill will for other people, you can't trust yourself around them. You're likely to say something or do something. It may not be openly aggressive, but it be passively aggressive. Or something's going to slip out in terms of your expressions, in terms of your words. You have to be really careful about the state of your mind if you want to stay safe. Because people can pick up on ill will, they can pick up on contempt. And the whole range of things which you look down at other people and would like to see them suffer. And you've got to make sure that those attitudes don't have any hold on your mind. They may come in every now and then, but you don't let them stay. This is one of the reasons why we meditate, to get so that we can train the mind to think the things we really want it to think, and as it doesn't have to think the things we don't want it to think. And so we get a better and better idea of what kinds of things really are worth thinking. When you have that kind of control over the mind, okay, then you begin to trust yourself. And of course, when you can trust yourself in this way, other people can trust you too.